Hi there. If you have used GeoServer in the past, you know that GeoServer offers a great range of security tools as well. You can create different roles, assign them some conditions, some rules, and then create users and then assign roles to those users. By doing that, we can create our connection so that depending upon what is the username and password that a user is using, he or she will see the data or maybe not see the data. But what if you want to use GeoServer in some cases where not even HTTP authentication is possible? In this tutorial, we are going to see how to deal in that scenario. Oftentimes, when you want to work with GeoServer, you will have to pass your username and password as a authentication. For example, if I go to Postman, I will have to go to my auth, select the basic auth and then add username and password over here in order to get my data. Forget about auth key as of now. So if I don't do this, for example, if I make this as a no auth and if I send the request, it will give me an error that obviously this is not a authorized request. But if I go to basic auth and if I select admin and geo server, which is a default credentials, I will see the data. But what if I'm working in an environment where even the HTTP request or HTTP authentication is also not possible. In that case, we want to use something in the URL itself. For example, something like this. If I have this auth key, which is a UUID, a unique identifier, and based on this auth key, GeoServer will authenticate or look for this auth key and try to connect it with the user. And then based on that, it will authenticate the request. For example, if I do it right now, obviously it is going to give me an error because I have not implemented this uh, plugin into my Geo server as of now. But this is the idea. Obviously, you can see that this is not the most secure way out there. But definitely, if you are working in an environment where HTTP authentication is not possible, this is definitely a way to go forward. So to do this, let's go to Chrome and look for auth key geo server and this is exactly the module that we want key authentication module to download this you can go to build.geoserver and make sure that you check the version that you are using and then go to that version so i will go to 2.21.x and extension and auth key plugin once this is downloaded simply go to your web apps folder so for me that will be user local geo server web apps geo server web inif lib and i will simply unzip this and put this in my lib folder i have already done that so i will not do it again because after putting this i will have to restart my geo server so take a pause install it and come back all right now i am hoping that you have the plugin installed the way we will confirm whether the plugin is installed or not is by going into authentication. Let me make this bigger for you. Go into authentication. Look for add new authentication filter and auth key. So this is exactly what we are looking for. Authenticates by looking up for an authentication key sent in a URL parameter. Now, the way we will use it is we will actually store all these credentials like the username and the auth key associated with that username in our file. So I will simply click on auth key and I will select let's say custom auth key. You can give any name that you want and also what should be the name in the URL parameter. Let's say I will give it as lock just for fun. And where exactly do I want to store this that means what exactly will be the mapper of user and the authentication key i will be selecting property file now which user or group do i want to deal with since i am working with the default users and password i will see the default one if i hit on synchronize you will see that i will get the message that successfully added six keys if i save this you might have gotten message like successfully added one key 
and this is because if I go to users and if I go to user groups you will see that I have a lot of users over here I will delete all of those for now I will go back to my authentication custom auth key and I will synchronize it one more time now obviously since we have not added a new user it will not add any key all right I will save this now authentication filter is in place next step is to actually allow geo server to use this authentication filter to do that we will have to deal with filter chain here we will give operations such as in the web check the custom auth key as well and I will move it upwards in the rest API as well I want to use custom auth key and I can remove basic if I want that means uh, like auth key will be only used in the GWC again I can give custom auth key for authentication in the default I will say custom auth key close and now let us go back to our geo server data directory one more time here you will see that if you go to data directory security user group default and auth key properties this is the file where all these properties are stored if I open this I will see admin and I will see the auth key associated with that admin so geo server has created this for us which means now if I want to do anything with geo server for admin credentials I can simply use this auth key now let's try to use it in an example let's go to postman and try to get the layer list if I hit the layers JSON it will give me an unauthorized error but if I add a lock remember that this is the name that we have given to the URL parameter default name is auth key but again like you can use any name that you want and now if I send the request you will see that I got the result this is because I have passed the auth key in a URL parameter if I try to do it using authentication I will get the result if I try to use parameters instead of authentication I will still get the results this is because if you remember while creating the filter chain we have added both basic and auth key as an accepted way of authentication all right now if I add a new user let's say let me go to users users tab add new user and let's say I do Krishna and I will associate the admin role I will save this I will have to go to authentication custom auth key and synchronize that way one new user is added now if I look at my VS code you will see that a new entry for Krishna is available if I use this as my lock it will work as you can see now you can create a combination of different types of security rules and roles with this different users and ultimately you can map users with the auth key but now you might be thinking is that this is very tedious that every time I have to add a user I have to come to the authentication click on this custom auth key and then synchronize users or group is there any better way to deal with this definitely this is where rest apis of geo server comes into the picture i am pretty sure that you are familiar with how geo server rest api works if no please write down in the comment and i will create another video on geo server rest apis but for now i am assuming that you already have idea about geo server rest apis we will be using bunch of different rest apis in this particular workflow to automatically create auth keys for the new users added some of these steps are optional but I just want to let you guys know what all steps that I am taking if I go to geo server rest API you will see that I can create a new users from here I think yeah it's in user groups 
and here I can add new user. Now again, this is completely optional. If you want to add users via GeoServer UI, feel free to do that. But I will be adding it using REST API. So the first step that I will take is to add a new user. So to create new user, we will simply use this REST API URL and we will add user group and user. So user groups and users and this will be obviously a post call and we will pass the body. And we will give a user some name, let's say via rest. Let's keep the password as string for now and let's try to execute. Obviously we will get an error that this is not a authorized request. Now to authorize this request, I can either use the basic auth from here or I can simply pass the parameter of lock. So lock is equal to, let's pass the admin API key. And here you can see that the user is created. If I head back to my GeoServer instance and look under the users, you will see that the new user is created. Now we'll have to assign this user with the role as well so that user can access the uh, data. Now we will be assigning the admin role as of now, but yeah, feel free to assign different roles as you want. To do that, we will use another security REST API which is known as role and we will assign admin role to VR REST. Now again, we can pass our lock as a parameter and we will have to change it to post and there you go. Now if I go back to Chrome and look for the VR REST, you will see that admin is a selected role. Now we have created the user. This step that we took was completely optional, it is up to you. But now to create the auth key via REST API, we will have to take following steps. First is we have to get all the data available in this auth.properties file. To do that, we will use a GeoServer REST API endpoint known as resources. Resource allows us to get any file in our GeoServer data directory. So I will simply create a new API call for resource and I will give path of my auth key dot properties file. So you can see that we are under security, user group, default and auth key dot properties. We can confirm it from here as well. So inside data directory, we don't need to give data dir, but inside data directory, we are at security, user group, default and auth dot properties. All right, now here I will add the lock one more time. And I will give this value, send and you will see that we got the data. We got exactly what was written in, in our odd.properties file. Now we can make changes in this file. So what I will do is I will copy this, I will change this call to put and I will go to body, raw and text. Here now I can add the new UUID for my user VR REST. Alright, so I will just go to Google and random string generator random uh, with the numericals and letters as well. So I will simply copy this. I will go to my postman and put it over here and put it as a put request. Once I send this, you will see a 201 and if I now go back to my auth.properties file, you will see that VRREST is added over here. And just like that, I can now start using this API endpoint. So now if I go to any of the get call, for example, this one, and if I use lock instead of auth key, I can now pass my own created string and I will get the data. 
if i make changes to it for example if i try to add any random string it will obviously give me an unauthorized error this gives us the idea that okay this is actually working and there you go so this is exactly how you can use auth key in your geo server you can create these auth keys on the fly using this resource rest api from geo server thank you guys for watching this video and write down in the comments what all different use cases do you have for this auth key plugin we will be putting more and more videos about geo server and other open source gis stack soon on this channel so make sure that you subscribe thank you